What are my thoughts on this Mar Mari guy, this Bishop Mar Mari guy, or however you say his name? Um, I'm going to be doing a video about that guy. Um, just right up front, he's fake. I can tell you that. Uh, you get some guy and he's wearing this special outfit and whatever else, and this little thing over his head and whatever. Um, where's that at in the scriptures? A man is not supposed to have his head covered when he's praying. Um, and I do believe that that's a physical thing, spiritual, but also physical. Um, I've always, you know, when I pray, I take my hat off or whatever. Obviously, like I said in my one study about head coverings, if you're riding a motorcycle and you have a helmet on and somebody pulls out in front of you, you can't say, oh, I have to take my helmet off before I can pray to the Lord. You know, so understand. But when you're doing some kind of religious thing and you're meeting with, you know, supposed Christians and you're in some kind of church building and you have this special outfit and this special little hood with it's embroidered and all that. Where's it at in the scriptures? And then he's, he always has his little idols with him, his little cross or his little other things and whatever, these little magic trinkets or something. And he's preaching with those in his hands all the time. Like it's some kind of special whatever. You just read the New Testament and you just you have all your answers right there. Um, but I'm going to tell you, before I expose the guy, I'm going to tell you exactly what his followers are going to say. They'll come over to the channel and they will say, because I've dealt with this for many years, number one, you're just jealous of him. Number two, you're trying to get attention by tearing him down. Number three, um, uh, why would you attack your brother in Christ? That's a good one too. Um, and they'll come up with other things. You know, I'm just thinking about about this as I'm getting back to uh, where we have our vehicles parked so we can leave here this morning get down to the office but just wanted to do a real quick video on this just to kind of set the stage for the whole thing because I was sent some videos about him and and he's definitely corrupt definitely preaches against um, sound biblical doctrine he's very false and so I will be bringing some of that stuff out but <laughs> I already know where it's going. It happened, it's happened to me so many times over the years with people. And, um, you know, another thing I'll say is this whole thing of, well, he got stabbed in the eyeball or something, he lost his eye for Jesus. Uh, well, there have been a lot of Catholics that were tortured um, for their quote unquote faith. That doesn't mean that they're legitimate, right? Uh, Muslims have been tortured, uh, Buddhists have burned themselves to death during the Vietnam War era to go to protest the communist regime over there in Vietnam. Um, doesn't mean that they're legitimate. Just because you shed your blood or your blood is shed doesn't make you legitimate. But it does puff you into stardom, as was seen by um, Kent Hovind, you know, going to prison, you know, for his stands or whatever the evolutionists conspired to no, he was actually structuring and doing a bunch of other things illegally with money while claiming to be a tax-exempt um, type of a thing there. Um, Steven Anderson got his, you know, vehicle smashed up and whatever. They broke his window and then supposedly smashed his head in the broken glass. And, you know, that was a big thing. Baptist pastor attacked by Border Patrol. And, you know, so they, they will do this thing to get attention and they'll you know oh he was beaten or he was this or he was that so and again you know i'm going to get some of that too oh you know you're you uh spoke against a guy and, and he suffered for jesus christ and what have you done how much have you suffered <laughs> you know um suffering doesn't mean anything in terms of proving that you're saved um, if your testimony is rotten and if your doctrinal stands are rotten, uh, it doesn't mean anything. So not going to go off on a big tangent with, with this video. I just wanted to say that um, I will be doing a study against this Bishop Mari Mari whatever guy. And um, just to prepare yourself for the attacks that will come because you faithful viewers out there of mine, you'll see it. And... Uh, You'll come under the same attacks if you expose false prophets as well. So, sunlight's bright this morning. That's good. So that will be it. Look forward to those studies coming up. A whole bunch of other things going on that I'll be bringing out. So, 
that should be it. See you in upcoming videos. Please continue to pray for the ministry too. We do appreciate that.